What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, just I'm back with another video. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, first of all, let's show the outfit. Let's get into it. Let's get into the outfit, y'all. Yeah, okay. Per. Period. Per. <laughs> period. Per, bitch. No, okay, so. I'm going to be giving y'all kitty tips. Kit tips for the Uchi Boochie. Smoochie, you know what I'm saying? Because like I always get told that my coochie is soft. I always get told that she tastes a gr great, amazing. Guys, y'all have to remember, like I, I be trying to like like talk in code because YouTube be bugging. Like YouTube really be bugging, but it's it's okay. We go okay, we got this. But anyway, so I always get told that it's really soft. It's really smooth. I always get told that it smells good and that it tastes on point. So I'm gonna be giving you a tips for the kitty, for the for the little meow meow, for the kitty meow meow. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now the first one that I got. Okay, so we're gonna start off with like the shaving shit, girl. We're gonna talk about shaving because you go, y'all already y'all be shaving wrong. Y'all be shaving wrong. First of all, y'all be shaving too often. Stop shaving all the goddamn time. Okay. I do content and I don't even shave all the time. Seriously, like. If you want to get waxed, get waxed. But I was told that getting waxed, you still could get ingrown hairs and all that other stuff. So there's no motherfucking point in my motherfucking eyes. I can just shave my shit. Like, so. Okay, so seriously. All right, so first of all, before you shave, right, make sure you got a good shaving cream. Okay? You can use coconut oil. Coconut oil is lit. That's going to help her be soft. Okay, that's gonna help her be soft. When he go down there, do a little DJ talk, you're gonna be like, oh, he's so soft. I just heard that last week. Like, yeah, you're welcome. So then, I'm kidding. So yeah, you can, <laughs> coconut oil or regular shaving cream, like it does not really like matter, but just be careful. Don't get it inside the Uchiwale Bang Bang because it's gonna throw off your pH balance. It's gonna throw off the balance. So you really gotta make sure it stays on the outside. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so then, after you do that like that, right? Okay, you're going to exfoliate. Don't forget to exfoliate every single time. I use an exfoliating glove, okay? You could get it at the dollar store. You could get it at Walmart. You could get it any fucking where. All right? Don't be, don't be late. And it's like $2. So those are things that you get them for. It's like it's $2. Okay? Now, you can also get like a little sugar scrub exfoliating thingy, da, da, da. Be careful with those because some of those will throw your pH off, okay? It will. I prefer the glove. Make sure that glove's clean. Don't leave that glove in the shower because you're going to get mildew and shit on it. You're welcome. All right, so then, exfoliate, shave with coconut oil. Um, exfoliate before you shave. Even exfoliate on the days that you're not shaving. You're welcome. I shave probably like once a week. Once a week, literally, because like my shit don't go that far. And then what you're going to do is, right, you're going to get a good like razor bump. Something, okay? Like any kind, any, you could use like witch hazel or something like that. But witch hazel burn a little bit because it's like motherfucking alcohol. But it does what it, what it gotta do. It does what it gotta do. But I'm just saying, get like, you know, like a, a razor bump, like type of liquid. Like they got a bunch of different kinds from a bunch of different places. Go to Walmart. Go to Walmart. You will find some. The one that I use is from the Wells brand. It's like razor bump, like whatever the fuck. It's pretty much witch hazel and something else. But whatever. Anyway, do that. Do that like that. That's gonna help. Okay? So the coconut oil is gonna help with the softness. The exfoliating is gonna help with the razor bumps and everything else. Now, so, for all those who suffer with hyperpigmentation on the cat, Okay, because a lot of people suffer from that, and I, I was one of them. Now, first of all, let me say something, okay? Men don't care about hyperpigmentation and dark uchi wali wali bang bangs. They don't care. As long as she's smelling right, feeling tight, that's all they care. All they, right? All the men right now, comment down if I'm wrong. Comment. But anyway, so if you're insecure about, like, the color of your uchi wali wali uchi bang bang, okay? What I suggest for that is vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil, make sure you rub that in, massage that in for a good one to two minutes after sh after you shave. And do that every day. Every day after you get out of the shower when your pores are open, put that on there. Rub that in there. Okay? Now, if you don't want to use vitamin E oil, you could use aloe vera. Now, aloe vera is a little gross because it feels like nut, but it does what it needs to do. I swear. I swear it does what it needs to do. Okay? So that's for that. Now, 
Now that's for like the shaving and like the bumps and keeping it pretty. Now y'all already know when you shave, right? You're supposed to shave against the hair. I don't do that. I don't do that because you, you, you no, they say, they say you're supposed to shave the, the direction that the hair is going. I don't do that because it be missing some. Like you gotta go the opposite motherfucking way. Like I don't understand what they be talking about. I really don't. I don't get it, but yeah. Yeah, Mooka butt. That's all you gotta do for real for real. And then <coughs> oh, fuck. Alright, and then so that's for the color, that's for the shaving. Now, for the scent. Okay, and please hear me out. Okay, please, 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 please. So your Ushi Wally, Ushi Bang Bang, right? She sweats. She sweats already when she's wet. Okay, so first of all, when you get out the shower, make sure you dry her really well. Okay, preferably not use a towel. Okay, <clears throat> the same towel that you use for everything else, preferably a different one. But yeah, so, um, fuck, what was I saying? Oh my God, like that's the weed. I gotta stop smoking the weed. Like, Jesus, this is the drugs, this is the drugs. No, I'm just kidding. So no, for real though, use a different towel or whatever. Make sure she's dry, bro, because when she wet, that's what makes you get all musty, okay? So you know how like, obviously she gonna be she gonna be wet all day like that's just how our body is you know discharged and stuff like that that's just how it works first of all so what i like to do is i like to use wipes okay i like to use wipes i have a big box of wipes in my bathroom right now as i speak as we speak throughout the day i like to use wipes okay and then i will dry myself behind me using the wipes because the wipes are wet okay if you use the wipes and then don't dry yourself you just create a moisture baby listen to me girl, girl what did i say don't talk over me man don't do that yeah yeah anyway so no seriously like so use the wipes and then after the wipes you want to dry yourself off to make sure you know because that's going to that's going to go to the must okay that that's not that's a must literally that that's creates like the musty situation down there it's too wet and it's closed off okay do the math not good for the smell now if you have a smell on the inside i be telling y'all don't put anything inside your uchi wali uchi bang bang inside nothing needs to go inside of it it's self-cleansing i don't care no shut up no i don't care i'm done ass like nothing needs to go inside of it because it's self-cleansing so therefore if you want to clean the ins if you're if the inside of your uchi wali has like a fishy smell or something like that you need to go to the gynecologist and you need to get prescribed um metronizadol yes you need to get prescribed that i'm not no motherfucking doctor i'm not no doctor but that is because your ph balance is off or something like that damn damn man kids hopping out that van jesus christ anyway sorry i'm my mama business anyway so you gotta get prescribed that okay and take that for seven days and do whatever because like some people right okay they're like trying to push the boric acid now boric acid is okay i only use that the day after my cycle to like clear myself out and you know like start over and everything that's it that's it that's it bro if you're using it and then the smell comes back every three days there's a bigger problem there's a bigger problem and you need to go to the guy now to get it checked okay all right thank you very much now that's gonna help with like this that you know like if you there's like a fishy smell or something like that but fishy smell is not normal like a musty smell that is normal after a certain amount of time like if you've been sweating all day having a shower and that then of course that's going to come about you know what i'm saying drink a lot of water cleanse your motherfucking self cleanse your motherfucking self. stop playing with me stop playing with me and if you fucking on that nigga and your pH balance keeps getting thrown off. It's because he dick dipping. He dick dipping in different bitches. Okay? You didn't hear from me. You didn't hear nothing from me. Okay? But I'm, I'm being dead ass. He dick dipping. Don't do that. Don't mess up your pH balance for no nigga. Okay? That's how I be finding out niggas got other bitches. Okay? So I'm like, why my pH off? Oh, the fuck? What? Or you can just use condoms. Honestly, using condoms like really helps. Like, right? but if you want to keep your pH balanced, you know, like something regular, you could do prebiotic, probiotic suppositories, like the regular ones that you take in your mouth. Okay, from Azo, Azo the shit. Okay, so do that, <clears throat> and that's gonna keep you right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's gonna keep you going. 
And then he gonna eat that shit. He gonna eat it like this tomorrow. You're welcome. Are there any other questions? If there's any other questions, if you want to know like what your uh, discharge is supposed to look like, it's supposed it's not supposed to be like cottage cheesy or thick or gray or like not, nothing like that. Okay, it's supposed to be like white. You know what I'm saying? Like a white. And then <coughs> it's supposed to be kind of like milky. You know what I'm saying? Like milky. That's what it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be like cottage cheesy like because then that means you got a yeast infection. Okay. Now for yeast infections, again, I am not no, I'm not no doctor. But what I do for mine, if I get them, I just go to the store and I get um non-fat Greek yogurt. Non-fat Greek yogurt and I just... You can put that in there. I promise. And, yo, it's going to get you right. It's going to get that yeast infection right gone. Like, yo, because the motherfuckers be talking about some, oh, like the monostat, those burn your uchi off. I swear to God, man, be burning your coochie lips off. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, listen to me. Like, listen to me. Like, Okay, but, yeah. I love y'all so motherfucking much. And like, subscribe, share. Guys, we're about to reach 110,000 subscribers. But we're on the road to 500K. We are on the road to 500K. <laughs> now, I hope everybody gets bent over today. I hope everybody chokes on today in a good way. Obviously, all positive ways. And if you're a man, I hope you eat. I hope you I hope you get sloppy toppy. I hope you, you know, bust a nut. I hope you bust a nut. Girls, I hope you bust a nut today, too. Everybody bust a nut. I'm scared. I love y'all so much, and I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.